Types of lung sounds and causes. Vesicular breath sounds. Vesicular breath sounds are soft and low-pitched with a rustling quality during inspiration and are even softened during expiration. These are the most commonly auscultated breath sounds, normally heard over most of the lung surface. Vesicular breathing has an inspiration or expiration ratio of 3 to 1. Listen to an example of vesicular breath sounds. Diminished vesicular breath sounds. Diminished vesicular sounds are of lower intensity and are less full or robust than vesicular sounds. These sounds can occur in patients who move a lowered volume of air such in frail, elderly patients, or patients with shallow breathing. They are also heard with obese patients or highly muscular patients, where tissue mass impedes the sound. They exhibit a normal inspiration or expiration ratio of 3 to 1 or 4 to 1. Listen to an example of diminished vesicular breath sounds. Bronchial breath sounds. Bronchial breath sounds are hollow, tubular sounds that are lower pitched. They can be auscultated over the trachea where they are considered normal. There is a distinct pause in the sound between inspiration and expiration with a ratio of 1 to 3. Listen to an example of bronchial breath sounds. Bronchovesicular breath sounds. These are normal sounds in the mid-chest area in the posterior chest between the scapula. They reflect a mixture of the pitch of the bronchial breath sounds heard near the trachea and the alveoli with the vesicular sound. The inspiration to expiration periods is equal with a ratio of 1 to 1. Listen to an example of bronchovesicular breath sounds. Abnormal breath sounds include the absence of sound and or the presence of normal sounds in areas where they are normally not heard. For example, bronchial, loud and tubular breath sounds are abnormal in peripheral areas where only vesicular, soft and rustling sounds should be heard. When bronchial sounds are heard in areas distant from where they normally occur, the patient may have consolidation, as occurs with pneumonia or compression of the lung. These conditions cause the lung tissue to be dense. The dense tissue transmits sound from the lung bronchi much more efficiently than through the air-filled alveoli of the normal lung. The term adventitious breath sounds refer to extra or additional sounds that are heard over normal breath sounds. Sources differ as to the classification and nomenclature of these sounds, but most examiners commonly use the following terms to describe adventitious breath sounds. Ronki, crackles or rails, wheezes, plural friction rub or strider. Detection of adventitious sounds is an important part of the respiratory examination, often leading to diagnosis of cardiac and pulmonary conditions. If adventitious sounds are heard, it is important to assess their loudness, timing in the respiratory cycle, location on the chest wall, persistence of the pattern from breath to breath, and whether or not the sounds clear after a cough or a few deep breaths. Secretions from bronchitis may cause wheezes, or ronchi, that clear with coughing. Crackles may be heard when atelectatic alveoli pop open after a few deep breaths. Ronchi. Ronchi are low-pitched wheezes which are continuous. Occur during both both inspiratory and expiratory phases, similar to wheezes. They often have a snoring, gurgling or rattle-like quality. Ronchi occurs in the bronchi, 
Sounds defined as ronchi are heard in the chest wall where bronchi occur, not over any alveoli. Ronchi usually clear after coughing. Listen to an example of ronchi. Coarse crackles or rails. Coarse crackles are discontinuous, brief, popping lung sounds. Compared to fine crackles they are louder, lower in pitch and last longer. They have also been described as a bubbling sound. You can simulate this sound by rolling strands of hair between your fingers near your ear. Crackles are caused by fluid in the small airways or atelectasis. The popping sounds produced are created when air is forced through the respiratory passages that are narrowed by fluid, mucus or pus and are associated with inflammation or infection of the small bronchi, bronchioles, and alveoli. Listen to an example of coarse crackles. Crackles early inspiratory rails. Early inspiratory crackles or rails, as suggested by the name, begin and end during the early part of inspiration. The pitch is lower than late inspiratory crackles. A patient's cough may decrease or clear these sounds. Early inspiratory crackles suggest decreased FEV1 capacity and are characteristic of COPD. Listen to an example of inspiratory crackles. Late inspiratory crackles or rails. Late inspiratory crackles or rails begin in late inspiration and increase in intensity. They are normally higher in pitch and can vary in loudness. These adventitious breath sounds resemble the noise made when the hook and loop fasteners of Velcro are being separated. These sounds are heard over the posterior bases of the lungs. They may clear with changes in posture of several deep breaths. They do not clear with coughing. Crackles that don't clear after a cough may indicate pulmonary edema or fluid in the alveoli due to heart failure or ARDS. Listen to an example of late inspiratory crackles. Wheeze, expiratory. Wheezes are adventitious lung sounds that are continuous with a musical quality. Wheezes can be high or low pitched. High pitched wheezes may have an auscultation sound similar to squeaking. Lower pitched wheezes have a snoring or moaning quality. The proportion of the respiratory cycle occupied by the wheeze roughly corresponds to the degree of obstruction. Wheezes are caused by the narrowing or constriction of the bronchioles. Listen to an example of expiratory wheezes. Wheeze, monophasic. Monophasic wheezes are loud, continuous sounds occurring in inspiration, expiration or throughout the respiratory cycle. The constant pitch of these sounds creates a musical tone. The tone is lower in pitch compared to other adventitious breath sounds. The single tone suggests the narrowing of a larger airway. These sounds are heard over the anterior, posterior and lateral chest walls. These sounds can be more intense over lung areas affected by partial obstructions. Listen to an example of monophasic wheezes. Wheeze. Polymorphic wheezes are loud, musical and continuous. These breath sounds occur in expiration and inspiration and are heard over the anterior, posterior, and lateral chest walls. 
These sounds are associated with COPD and more severe asthma. Listen to an example of polymorphic wheezes. Plural friction rub. Plural friction rubs are low pitched, grating, or creaking sounds that occur when inflamed plural surfaces rub together during respiration. More often heard on inspiration than expiration, the plural friction rub is easy to confuse with a pericardial friction rub. To determine whether the sound is a plural friction rub or a pericardial friction rub, ask the patient to hold his breath briefly. If the rubbing sound continues, it's a pericardial friction rub because the inflamed pericardial layers continue rubbing together with each heartbeat. A plural rub stops when breathing stops. Listen to an example of plural friction rub. Strider. Strider is caused by an upper airway narrowing or obstruction. It is often heard without a stethoscope. It occurs in 10 to 20% of extubated patients. Strider is a loud, high-pitched crowing breath sound heard during inspiration but may also occur throughout the respiratory cycle most notably as a patient's condition worsens. Inspiratory strider occurs above the vocal cords, biphasic strider occurs at the glottis or subglottic, and expiratory strider occurs in the lower trachea. In children, strider may become louder in the supine position. Causes of strider include pertussis, croup, epiglottitis, anaphylaxis, upper airway burns or trauma, and foreign body obstructions. Strider is an indication of a life-threatening condition and requires immediate medical intervention. Listen to an example of strider. If adventitious sounds are heard, it is important to assess their loudness, timing in the respiratory cycle, location on the chest wall, persistence of the pattern from breath to breath, and whether or not the sounds clear after a cough or a few deep breaths. Secretions from bronchitis may cause wheezes, or ronchi, that clear with coughing. Crackles may be heard when atelectatic alveoli pop open after a few deep breaths. COVID-19 Lung Sounds Bilateral interstitial pneumonia is a serious infection that can inflame and scar your lungs. It's one of many types of interstitial lung diseases, which affect the tissue around the tiny air sacs in your lungs. You can get this type of pneumonia as a result of COVID-19. Bilateral types of pneumonia affect both lungs. Kinds of crackles including fine crackles and wheezing can be heard in these patients. Velcro crackles can be heard in the most critically ill patients and predicts a poor prognosis. Moderate and severe patients without positive auscultatory findings may have a better prognosis. We continue to learn more about COVID-19 and its variants as new cases and data are reported. Listen to an example of a patient positive with severe COVID-19 pneumonia. Grunting Grunting are low or mid-pitched, expiratory sounds caused by sudden closure of the glottis during expiration in an attempt to maintain functional residual capacity and PEEP. Grunting is more common in children and is a compensatory symptom for poor pulmonary compliance. Common respiratory conditions that may progress to compensatory grinning are transient tachypnea of the newborn, respiratory distress syndrome, pneumonia, atelectasis, congenital lung malformation or hypoplasia, pleural effusion, or pneumothorax. Listen to an example of grunting.
The performance of auscultation and interpretation of lung sounds is most familiar with a traditional stethoscope. However, newer, electronic stethoscopes may increase detection of abnormal lung sounds. Computerized interpretation of lung sounds is also actively under investigation. This could take the form of digitized analysis of sounds or of a visual display of the acoustic information that a clinician could interpret. Computerized augmentation may prove to be more accurate in the future. Adventitious sounds reflect the pathology that produces them, so the specific clinical context is critical for accurate interpretation. For example, crackles, the sound of airways snapping open, frequently occur in interstitial lung disease, pulmonary edema from heart failure, and infection. Later and higher-pitched crackles often represent interstitial lung disease whereas earlier and lower-pitched crackles tend more towards chronic obstructive lung disease. Wheezing, the sound of air movement through narrowed airways, occurs in conditions such as asthma, chronic obstructive lung disease, and focal masses. Without a specific clinical context, these sounds are fairly nonspecific. The duration, rather than pitch, of wheezing throughout the respiratory cycle is most predictive of the degree of pathology. Check out our other videos for more information about airway anatomy and pulmonary pressure changes. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment or request a video topic below. Thanks for watching.